Hey guys, I'm Philip Blanks, and welcome to another Nerdy Phil Chat. So, something happened, and I kind of didn't say anything about it for a little bit, but I figured now I might as well, I got some time. Uh, and that is that Capcom announced Mega Man 11, uh, which is amazing, because to be honest, when they said that they were doing something cool for uh, Mega Man's 30th anniversary, I honestly didn't expect anything. I thought they'd be like, here, buy the soundtracks again. Here's another stupid friggin' helmet. Buy, buy our crap. You know, we don't utilize our characters, but buy our shit. Uh, but no, instead, they, they did this kind of little history of Mega Man, which led to Mega Man 11's launch trailer. And it looks fantastic. Let's take a second and take a look at it. So yeah, Mega Man 11, uh, it looks fantastic. I am personally really happy with this trailer. Uh, I think the graphics on the background are beautiful, uh, especially like the, the, the opening with the outside there, it looks great. The character graphics are okay, the animation's not amazing. Uh, Mega Man looks a little wonky, I hope they kind of fix a little bit of that before the game comes out. But the actual presentation of the game looks really, really good. And the music, you, you can't hear it crazily good because the sound effects in the background, but it is phenomenal, it's exactly what I would want out of a non-8-bit Mega Man. Mega Man 7 and Mega Man 8 had okay music, but to be honest, I, I I don't think Mega Man 8 really gets it. You know, it's just a lot of a lot of the same stuff, and it doesn't sound super amazing. But this so far, I mean, it's only one song, but it, look, it sounds really, really good. Like, what I expect a Mega Man game to sound like. So, what can we expect out of this Mega Man game from this trailer? We don't get a whole lot of information, but I mean, we get enough, I guess. Uh, we know that they showed off two stages. The first one with the kind of outside, uh, some ruins, and then it goes inside where it's all blue and stuff. Um, I guess the internet has taken to call this guy Ruin Man, which is fine. I guess for the sake of this little video, we'll call him that. And then the second part of the video takes place inside some mines. So I'm guessing people are call, like, call, going to call him like Mine Man or something like that. I don't know. We know that there are mini bosses. We see one in Ruin Man stage and one in the mines. And that's very cool. We see the power-ups are pretty much the same as every Mega Man game. There's a life power-up, there's a weapon energy power-up, uh, there's a one-up, there's an E-Tank, and there's even a screw or two uh, hiding in the level. We know that because the enemy actually ends up dropping one during the, the trailer, we know that unlike Mega Man 8, bolts are not a finite resource. Uh, Mega Man 8 had bolts in there, but you'd find a specific amount and you'd spend them on the store. And but in Mega Man 7 and 9 and 10, they were there were infinite amount of bolts. You constantly farmed them so you get a lot of things. So I'm assuming that means there is clearly a store of some sort. Rush is back uh, as a regular kind of usable character. Weirdly enough, Mega Man does not turn red when Rush is used. I think that's probably because you're always going to be able to use Rush at any time. You'll notice that the bar for Rush uh, is always next to Mega Man's life. There's always a red gauge there. So I'm assuming instead of having to switch to Rush, you pretty much just press another button and that uses Rush at any time. Which, to be honest, is a lot smarter. The less amount of time I'm going to be switching my weapons around with the L and R button or, or pausing the game, the better. Some old school enemies like the Pickle Man here from Guts Man stage in Mega Man 1. Uh, we've seen some concept art of a lot of those uh, those shield enemies that come rushing at you. So there's a lot of like old school stuff. I mean, the feel is obviously old school. I'm assuming there's going to be eight robot masters and whatnot. For the new things, uh, the major thing that you'll have noticed, that at least I have noticed anyways, is that there are three gears underneath Mega Man's life bar and weapon energy. And you don't really know what they do except near the end of the... Uh, at the end of the trailer, it kind of starts glowing and he uses it, he like, I don't know, he bursts into something. I'm assuming that's what those gears are for, because I mean, they start going. And then there's like a cooldown bar above him. By slowing down the footage, you can see that 
this thing is making Mega Man be able to shoot charged shots one after another. Um, it kind of cuts out so you don't get to see a lot. And I'm assuming you can kind of use this ability until that cooldown thing goes by. I don't know much about this gear system, but I, I apparently in, there was an interview where that's kind of the big gimmick for this one, is that you can equip Mega Man with different gears. That's pretty cool. Is that what you buy with your, your bolts? Maybe? Is it stuff that you get after defeating Robot Masters or finding them? Who knows? We have no idea. The second level, in the mines, uh, Mega Man is using Ruin Man's weapon, which is these, these four bricks that kind of come down on his enemies. But Mega Man actually looks different, and that's really cool. That's something you don't see in any Mega Man game. Uh, and actually reminds me a little bit of Kirby. Uh, Kirby originally, when he used to get powers, just kind of changed color a little bit and that was it. But starting with Kirby Superstar would wear actual hats that would change depending on what ability he used. And I like that, the idea with Mega Man. So far we only get to see that one kind of like cool looking, the arm with the head thing. But all in all, I find this trailer looks really good. Uh, it looks like it's going to play a lot closer to Mega Man 9 and 10 than it is to 8. And I don't think there's anything really wrong with that. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about is that this is going to be... It's not going to push Mega Man enough. There's probably going to be eight Robo Masters, each with one level. Then there's going to be some Dr. Wily stuff, and that's going to be it. It's going to be basically a Mega Man. This, if it wasn't for the graphics, if this was 8-bit graphics, this straight up would have been like just a follow-up to Mega Man 9 and 10. And I have a bad feeling that, other than its graphics, it is basically just another Mega Man 9 and 10. I guess I don't technically think that's a bad thing because, I mean, any Mega Man's good right now. We haven't had a Mega Man game in seven years. Uh, but at the same time, I think Mega Man deserves a little bit more. If this game can prove that Mega Man can stand alone on his own video game and not just legacy titles, maybe that means there could be an actual new Mega Man game with new mechanics that are, are brand spanking new for, you know, the modern gaming landscape. Is that just old school 2D graphics and old school 2D gameplay. So while not the amazing brand spanking new Mega Man I would have liked, this is really good, I'm okay with it. And everyone out there complaining about how it doesn't look like Mega Man, or he doesn't run as good, or th this isn't as good, shut up. Seriously. I'm all up for people having their opinions and whatnot, but be quiet about this one. Sonic fans got pissed off about Sonic 4, and they got pissed off about Sonic this and Sonic that, and, and, and it gets them nowhere, okay? It gets them nowhere. I don't want that to happen to the Mega Man fandom. This is a brand new Mega Man game. It might not be amazing, who knows? But it's a Mega Man game, and if we keep complaining about it, and we don't do anything to support this, then it's gone. Mega Man's gone. And is, is, that's not what we want. I hope that's not what I want. Is that what you guys want? then keep complaining if that's what you want, that Mega Man just disappears forever. But I know I'll be getting this. Hope it's good. If it's bad, don't get me wrong. I don't want you to support a bad game. But give it a chance, because of, not because of something stupid like, oh, his jump arc looks weird. That's so unimportant in the grand scheme of things that by dismissing this game just because of something so just stupid, making this artificial argument about how it's bad, though we know nothing, is self-defeating and there's no point to it. So everyone, let's rejoice. There is a new Mega Man game coming out. Uh, I'll keep talking about it the closer it gets to, to release. I wouldn't be surprised if this is not my only NPC on Mega Man 11. Uh, maybe we can go a little bit further and see what they could do for a full-fledged, brand spanking new Mega Man game. But that is an NPC for another time. I'm just happy that there is a Mega Man game coming out. And I want to know what you guys think post in the comments below what you think about this new trailer. Uh, is this something you're excited for? Are you going to pick it up? Is there something legitimately wrong with it in your opinion? Tell me down there. Click that thumbs up button if you like this and subscribe for more. I'm Phil Blanks. Take care, guys.